da 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 Let's start playing. We're going to play this game called Kaichu. And Kaichu is uh, a play on words for the the term uh, 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 Kaiju, which is Japanese for a kind of monster, kind of monster movie, where the monsters are rubber suit costumes, rubber suited costumes of, of monsters. Godzilla, Godzilla is the most famous one. King Kong. King Kong is another kaiju, but but this is a play on words because chu is Japanese for the sound a kiss makes. In Japanese movies or Japanese cartoons, especially anime, uh, the sound a kiss makes is chu chu. So this game is called kaiju, and it's it's not just a monster game; it is a dating sim. And I've only played a little bit of it, a very, very, very little bit of it. Um, but uh, we're, let's just go ahead and jump right in. We're gonna jump right in. We're gonna play maybe 15 minutes of this, okay? Uh, maybe 20 minutes, play 15 or 20 minutes of this, uh, and then I'm gonna stop the stream. Also, a colossal creature has uh, showed up in the North Pole. Are you bringing up uh, Daika, Daikaiju to deflect from addressing your breakup? Yeah, but the gigantic kaiju known as uh, Gigachu is also a significant story. Uh, we may have buried the lead here. Like Ra Ramon Omar uh, buried my heart. Let's go see the satellite footage. Okay, I'm just going to have to read out loud because this is really the only way that you're going to get any audio from this <laughs> poor, poor thing. Oh, well. I'm gonna have to do a lot of serious editing here. I do some serious editing. Uh, okay, are you heading to pass that photos again? Why does it keep doing that? Uh, I wanna show Kikachu moving via, con via controller. More on the story as it develops, so. I can move Gigachu. So I think I'm gonna go to this. A voluptuous and volcanic vixen is venting a vortex of lava all over the South Pacific. The naming of the mountain maiden has been highly contested, but the moniker favored by Pacific Island volcanologists is Tefra. Gigachu is a case Tefra in a global geological survey. That's a visit. World breaking news. Kikachu's burning passion means Tefra's multi magma at Maui. <laughs> what has driven the kaiju to bully our beloved Maui? There is a language of love and a leveling of landmarks, Lucky, and each strike can communicate compatibility. What you talking about? Brevity. Are you suggesting that kaiju are wooed by wanton destruction? Indeed, and Tafra is waiting for Kikachu. Kikachu's reply right now. Uh, I will try to narrate the date as we go live in the scene, and I think I'm going to narrate to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to narrate as best I can. Does Kikachu come here often? Yes. <laughs> they will share the pleasure of familiar destruction together. How is Gikachu feeling? Um, sweaty. Oh my. They're doing more destruction. Tefra hopes Gikachu can handle her inti intensity. What? Her intensity? Oh my gosh. How are we going to get through this? Is this Gikachu's first time dating a volcano? Yes. They have almost destroyed Maui, 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 Mau, something, something. How romantic. Tefra is flattered to be Gikachu's first, first love. Ooh. Tefra wants to know what first attracted Gikachu to her. Smoky eyes, hot body, billowing tresses. 
Bale loving charity. Bale loving tresses. Ah, oh, she likes it. And they have destroyed it. Uh, Tephra's flowing locks stream across her face as if to hide a longing for something more. Does Kikacho like that, Mawai? Meh. Ah, they both agree. That's just meh. And I think they just completely destroyed The Sarangs burn away with the heat of their romance regardless. Does Kikachu... A deal breaker question. Does Kikachu kick kiss on a first date? No. No, 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 no. And she agrees. Kikachu's restraint is a turn on. <laughs> a turn on? What? A turn on? How is that possible? But it blows a kiss, though. Uh, okay. So far, so what does that mean? Ah. So I should, oh, Volcano. Volcano? Let's go to... The Golden Gate, no. Let's go to the Space Needle. Let's go to the Space Needle. How about this? We'll do we'll do two more. We'll do two more and then we will see how this uh stacks up as a dating sim. I would not have predicted a tryst between kaiju to be so underwhelming. There's actually a lot of really good vocabulary here. Uh predicted, uh underwhelming. There you go. This is this is turning out not a but not like a, not a not a bad uh English practice uh, at all. Uh we shouldn't expect them to be compatible in every area. I've been on at least a dozen dates that were more destructive than what we witnessed. I witnessed another tricky word. Not every romance starts with a bang. Uh, there you get an idiom. To start with a bang. They need time to get to know each other. Ah, uh, you know, I'm gonna uh, so far I'm giving a couple of votes. A couple of votes to uh to Kai Chu dating sim as a as an English practice. I guess we're still gonna get a Gigachu ourselves. Some experts are speculating that Gigachu is a manifestation of humanity's loss of connection as we digitize our lives. <laughs> what what? Again, uh, there's uh, there seems to be some audio issue. Uh, they're talking, and it's coming through on my side, but uh oh, there seems to be an issue with my controller. Let's see if I can't fix that. Hold on. Oh, it looks like there's an issue with the... Uh, yeah, and she's talking, talking, talking. Yeah. It looks like the game crashed. The game crashed. Let's try it again. Uh, yeah, it looks like the, yeah, controller, the, yeah, the controller crashed on this thing, so the controller doesn't work. What do you think, Lucky? I believe that my second and last lover broke up with me via text. This is all on you, Ramon Amar. Looks like Kikachu is trying to connect right now at the Space Needle. Uh, how do I? Oh, here I go. So yeah, controller controller function is weak on this game, but you can use a keyboard. Um, uh, 
uh, Kikachu is a meat eater. A meat eater. Tefra is a molten. Does Kikachu enjoy games? Of, co of course enjoys games. Look at that. Look at that. Things are heating up. Things are hanging up between Tefra and Kikachu. Crashing Casino is a, is a mutually shared activity. Uh, is Kikachu into ornamentation? Um, yes. And Tefra is down with it. Both like to accentuate their hotness. Nice. Does Kikachu? Oh, deal breaker question. Kiss on a second date. Yes. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. And so they'd completely destroy the Space Needle. Goodbye. Goodbye, Seattle, Washington. Chu does. Oh, that is so sweet. Anyway. Yeah, let's do one more. Let's do one more city. I wish I could choose um, another. Well, of course, we're going to do Tokyo. We have to do Tokyo. Um, I want to try some bad answers. World breaking news. Brother, do you know the number one question on our viewers' minds? Does Kikachu poop? Actually, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I, I did have that question. No, that's number two. <laughs> number two. Uh, the question that isn't tricking our audience is how is how are you so in tune with the intentions of the country? Is it your degree in communications? I practice Ishin Denshin Do. Is that some strange monster dialect? Do you speak kaiju? No, it's listening to the heart. What's your take on Tefra? I think she's sticking in some stability. Will incompatible answers erode the relationship? It's okay if things get off to a rocky start. Ha ha ha. It takes time to build a solid foundation to find common ground. Let's see your insight in action and learn more at Tokyo Tower. So I'm going to do bad answers now. And then I'm going to end the stream. Because I have to get to go to work. Ha 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 ha. Uh, what kind of conversationalist is Gikachu? Listener, talker, somewhere in between. Let's do... I want to do bad answers. And I think a talker is not a good date. A talker. Ah, okay. So Tefra is into it. Loquacious. How does Gikachu relax? Baking. That's a that's a great one. Baking is good. Uh, naps and yoga. Yoga is a good one. But naps. I'm 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 big on naps. But I think that's a. That's a kind of a boring thing to introduce into a topic. Yeah, when I like to when I like to relax, I like to do yoga. That's better. Uh, when I like to relax, I like to do something creative, like baking. Yeah, when I when I want to relax, I just sleep. Yeah, so we're gonna do we're gonna do this. Okay, so far so good. We got a bad one. Tougher's mind is far too active for naps. Does Giga Chew like animals? We're gonna say no. What? Tefra did indicate a well done with barbecue. I guess so. Is Gikachu philosophical? No. Okay, that's a bad answer. Their relationship isn't achieving cognitive success. Let's do. Let's 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 do the deal breaker. What is Gikachu's favorite color? Red is romantic. Pink is romantic. But white is boring. No. Tefra likes white. Ah, oh, this is this is bad. Tefra thinks that's plain, but also hot. Okay. Okay. Does Kikachu keep up with current events? Well, I think it's smart to be aware, but also, eh, news is kind of, news is, I don't, I don't want to get involved with the news. Uh, but boring, uh, news is boring. Okay, so far. Good, 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 good. Uh, okay. Tefra has all latest geologic records. Finally, there's some rain in between the two of them. So what happens? Now, romantic rumblings. Oh, broken heart. Broken heart. Oh, but she still follows him. Uh, it's What's interesting, follows him, but at, di at a distance. At a distance. Let's do one more. Let's go to Sydney, Australia. Sydney. Shrimp on the Barbie. 
I should not be doing accents. It's terrible. I should not. Okay, we'll finish with this. Breaking news. Brother, I'm getting the hang of this Ishin Denshin Do stuff. What does your heart tell you? I sensed that was a bad date. Was it because they didn't kiss? That was pretty telling. Brevity, do Kaiju like the landmarks at the Electo level? They generally seem to favor them. What about landmarks they dislike? Not every kiss needs to be French. Ooh la la. <laughs> Tell that to my phlebotomist. The insolvable Kaiju couple, Te Tefrachu, <laughs> they're already combining words, Tefrachu, uh, is heating it up at Sydney Opera House. Let's go to live to the scene. Okay, what do they do? Again, remember, bad answers. We're gonna try to, I'm going to try to break this relationship, and then I'm going to end the stream. Uh, who is Gigachu's hero? Gamera, it should be another monster, right? Maui or Dolly Parton. We're going to do Dolly, do Dolly Parton. Okay, she likes Dolly Parton. Ah, I should have figured. I should have figured. This is, oh, my God, this is terrible. Uh, both are moved by her philanthropy, particularly in the, in the Great Smoky Mountains. That's true. Is Gigachu big on bridges? Meh. So-so. They are so-so on it. Tefra has a bad habit of burning bridges. Ooh, double meaning here. Double meaning. To burn a bridge has more than one meaning. Interesting. Okay, so. Could Gigachu be someone who didn't share... Uh, choose political beliefs? No way. Okay, so far. Okay, okay finally. I got a bad answer. A bad answer. Tefra has an unpleasant history of being pulled into politics. Okay. Okay, good. Does Gikachu dream? Never. Oh, no. Gikachu sleeps like a rock. A dreamless rock. Is Gikachu artistic? Meh. Okay, so-so. All right. I was kind of hoping for Gikachu finds Einplan R escapes to be pleasant. What is the most important reason for our marriage? Propriety, security, or efficiency? Efficiency is a terrible reason. Oh, come on. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Shared love just makes sense. That's not what that means. Deal breaker, please break the deal. Uh... Tefra wants to know what most attracts Gigachu to our courage, hot body, temperance. Okay, finally, a bad answer. We finished with a bad answer. Tefra wears a Gigachu is blinded by love or suffering from heat stroke. Rain. Is that enough to break the relationship? Well, it's enough to destroy the uh, opera house. Is there even more distance? Interesting. Well, we are going to finish the game. I'm going to save this. Uh, and figure out what's going on with the um, with the controls. It didn't seem to want to cooperate with the recall with the uh, controls. But that was Kaiju, the the monster dating sim based on kaiju, Japanese kaiju monsters. And that's going to be the end of the stream. Guys, thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. The plan for the next stream uh, is I'm going to do a stream either either on Halloween, Monday the 31st, or the weekend of Halloween, so Saturday or Sunday. One of those days I'm going to do another stream, uh, but it's going to be a game. It might be a couple. Of, it might be a couple of games, just short streams, short not short stream, but short plays of those uh, games. Just a couple of games, just for like a scary, scary game practice, but not too scary. Don't worry. And with that, I'm going to end the stream. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, but that's it. It is time for me to say goodbye. And uh, yeah. <laughs>